Bonjour. Oh. Ah. Call me again. Call Phil. So I just shared an amazing um, lip reading of the uh, somebody I used to know music video. Oh god, is that one of those like interpretation things? Yeah, like basically like the guy looked at the, uh, the his lips in the video and <laughs> made the words it looked like the, his lips were saying. Oh god. It's hilarious. And oh, it's catchy too. Like I actually, I don't like it better than the dubstep version, but I like it better than the original version. Is it like completely different from the actual lyrics? Yes. <laughs> the the name of the uh, the lip reading song is "Kicked Your Monkey." Oh, God. It's I liked it. No, Where's kick. I'm watching monkey. it now. I want "Where's My Monkey." I have to pee. Yeah. I've seen it, yes. I've seen videos of it. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. The zombie sounds are a little meh, but other than that. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of videos um, by this one guy called Kilroy, uh, who's a member of Shack Tech, uh, and they play, they've been playing that mod, so he's a bunch of videos. Um, he has like six parts up already, I just like these long videos, just one after the other of them playing and him like running around with people surviving, and like they lose people along the way and hook up with other people. and. <laughs> they get, it's cool because they get really paranoid. Like they see they see people in the distance. They don't know if they're friendly or not. Like and they just sneak around and try to figure out what they should do. So, I bet. Yeah. What? I was doing dishes and I'm not trying to make coffee. You make me coffee. I'll, I'll man down the stream. I'll man down the what stream. does that mean? I'll, I'll hold man the down the stream. I'll man down the stream. Man down. Hold the fort. Hold down the fort, as they Get say. Get down. I 
was gonna make a coffee after the stream. No, because of the stream will keep me up. <laughs> yep. Wait, like on the stream? Why is that Ever. there? Um, That's you? awful. You can hide hide the post. <laughs> Why? How do you guys get to share and I can't share? Scroll like to the right. Scroll <laughs> click to the, the right. Arrow. Click the arrow. Click the arrow. <laughs> next yeah, to the, the arrow. Thing. You can hide or report. Phew. God damn. They have in The Walking Dead and Titanic and Pac-Man. That sounds like Steve to me. <laughs> what the? What is that? <laughs> what do you want? You got dudes showing their abs? <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's <laughs> very revealing. Yeah. So he's happy. <laughs> what, what, what was wrong? No shoes are. Oh, God. Oh, You're God. Bad. It looked like her bottom face was photoshopped. It was like just sucked in fuck? and non-existent. Wow. You saw something that okay. cannot be unseen. Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. What's that? Ugh. <laughs> well, that's that's easy. Obviously, I'd rather kill a baby seal. Would you rather play first or kill a baby seal? <laughs> the other one. <laughs> So it's basically what you rather. Basically. Oh. Would you rather generator? This is very like controversial questions. This is like a, I like to think the entire very... universe started from a sneeze. <laughs> oh god. Wow. That's crazy. Holy controversy, Probably... Batman. Obviously Don't discuss it. Don't discuss it. Save it for the... Oh. There, there really is no right answer to that. There's very clearly a right answer. There's very clearly a right yeah. answer. Kind, kind of like the uh, right answer to being fused with another living organism is lichen. <laughs> Would you rather... Would you rather stop 9-11 or the war in Iraq? Yeah. 
let's 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 just pretend that it technically no because <laughs> suspend belief for a second. Nine eleven had nothing to do with Iraq. Uh, not was WMDs posted. I don't know if this crossed your mind, but um, because we're all talking on Uvu on your computer, uh, what we're talking about right now is on the stream. All right, just making sure you realized. <laughs> Would you rather stop the Vietnam War or 9-11? I don't want to stop wait, the Vietnam wait, 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 War because that uh, Black Probably Ops was Vietnam. awesome. <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> That's a good answer. Yes. Well played, so. No, I I finished uh, Call of Duty Four. I loved that one. I never played Duty multiplayer Duty. on it, but I finished the game. Can't talk about Jesus. Let's just listen to music. Zombie apocalypse, duh. Zombie Probably apocalypse. World War Three. Probably World War Three. World War Three, definitely. It's a party down here, dude. Yeah. Yeah, World War Three, definitely. World War Three could be anything. That could be where all the nukes come out and we just die anyway. What if World War Three has the nukes Third come out and be... cause a zombie apocalypse? <laughs> well, then that's just what we chose, but if it's a choice between World War Three and zombies, I would immediately pick World War Three. I'd go for zombies. I like how we're still talking about so There's a chance these. you could be on the winning side. Hey, Steve. Have Walk you realized that jungle? we're talking about these? Like you said not to? Probably a shark. Maybe shark attack. Maybe I could swim away. I don't think I could outrun a lion. You don't think you could outswim a shark? No. No. <laughs> if I had a surfboard, yeah. I might. Yeah. I think I would. I would pick the jungle because you could probably like find shelter or climb or something. I think in the in the sea you're fucked because all you have is water. Yeah, and you're like at least we belong on land. I think someone <laughs> I think would find you better you're... in the sea than in the jungle. No, I don't know. <laughs> Don't punch the lion. When you punch a lion in the nose, you lose a fist. That's all that's gonna happen yeah. there. <laughs> it both de it depends. Are they both hungry? Are we assuming they're both hungry? Yeah. I don't know. I think you have. A shark might just eat your leg and swim away. <laughs> I don't you think might bleed out in the water. Yeah, attract more uh, sharks. Uh, uh, just swim in circles. Like look at it this way: a shark is at home in the water. You're not. Lion land. Is that you home land. in the jungle? It's a little more fair. You maybe you can climb a tree. <laughs> maybe I don't know. Maybe you can throw a monkey at the lion as a distraction. You have no distractions in the sea. You, you can't do anything in the sea. You're completely out of your element. You're completely out of your element when you're in the sea. I'll play dead. No, the shark! I'll play dead for the shark! I don't think the shark cares. The shark the sharks don't eat dead things. Sharks blood. never eat dead things. They stop, they're like, oh, it's dead? Fuck that, I don't want it anymore. 
Like when they throw out the, like the bait. I'm and getting like hungry again. They're just like get out there and they're like, oh what? damn, they tricked me. This is dead. Can't eat I this. Purposely shit my I pants could never respect and myself again. I feel like they, pants and they wouldn't eat care. Like I, my dog eats shit. So why wouldn't a shark? <laughs> I think you're very fucked either way, honestly. But but it, I feel like you'd be slightly have slightly more of a chance in the jungle. Yeah, I agree. Because you could go jungling. Uh, get the buffs from the. Uh, 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 I mean, maybe if you have the buffs, it's your lion. ultimate skill. Kill the worm. Yeah. Maybe if you're Alistair, you can knock it back. That sounds really That's good. Very creative pancake. I don't even know where we're going. I'm hearing some fucking feedback. Fucking love pancakes. pancakes. Is anyone else days. hearing feedback? Yes, I am. I'm not. Was anyone not hearing feedback? No, no I don't think so. Because usually, usually it's the person who usually it's the person who is out. causing the feedback that doesn't hear it. Was it gone? No, it's like faint, but I mean, I guess there's faint feedback, but there's nothing damaging to my life. Dun, 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 damaging to my life. It'll make me rage quit. Now, th th you know, th this conversation in the chat's not gonna make me less hungrier. Like, <laughs> like talking about lions and stuff was making me hungry. <laughs> chocolate, blueberry syrup. Welcome to chocolate. May I chocolate your chocolate? You should put breakfast between some pancakes. Some scrambled eggs and ketchup. I like scrambled eggs. Yeah. Oh my god, 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 oh We can talk about how much money it's made. A lot. A lot. Shit ton of money. A lot. If I ever had the amount of money that one movie made in one day, I'd be set for life. Yeah. <laughs> You'd have to have very expensive taste if you were not, if that would not set you for life. <laughs> Like I eat like I don't even like seafood, but around. if I had that kind of money, I'd eat lobster every day. Just because you had to. Just because I can. Ten pound steak. Caviar. It's amazing. <laughs> I I just hit it with a flamethrower briefly because I like my meat rare. If I had, if I had all that money, I would start my own game company. I wouldn't actually do anything myself. I would just hire, hire people to make the games I want them to make. Does really Vin Diesel do that? No, the Yogscast actually yeah, managed Diesel to pretty do much that. Did that. Vin Diesel pretty much the did that. Yogscast yes, is doing made it right now. Made a games starring himself. My favorite celebrity who would want is dinner dead. with the president? I don't know who my favorite celebrity Someone is. Someone whose favorite celebrity is the president, obviously. Mm -hmm. I would have dinner with Bill I Clinton because like, he's hot. I feel like that's not even a question because either the president is like your favorite celebrity or whatever, or someone yeah. else is. Yeah. And he's obviously rather like it's the same category. It basically. is, yeah. 
It's like, would you rather eat lobster or your favorite meal? Yeah. Right? I mean... Who's your favorite celebrity that's dead? Walt dead? Disney? Yeah. So, uh, obviously. Uh, <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Eleven minutes. Just Sun Tzu. wearing Mickey Mouse on my shirt. Represent. I actually agree with our viewer. I agree with our viewer. He's a ledger over Clinton any day. Uh, he's a ledger. Well, obviously, but I mean, if I had to go with a president, I would go with Clinton. Well, but if I had to be a celebrity, he wasn't president. Heath Ledger is definitely up there, but I would have to go with Walt Disney first. What if he was a total he's dick? Frozen. He's not frozen. No, he's 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 ashes. What if he was a dick uh, though? Frozen. He wasn't an anti-Semite. It's just brought <laughs> the rumors, the uh, myths out of the way. Cairo Chamber. What if they got brought back to life in their last form? So he'd just be a talking pile of ash. Would you still do it? Would everyone be <laughs> a talking pile of some sort? Of? <laughs> 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 well, I mean. At least, like, Ledger, he'd at least be a zombie. I mean, probably wouldn't be very a very good conversation, but... Phil. Mm -hmm. What laser, uh, what DPI is your laser? You mean my laser or my mouse? Your mouse, laser. sorry, your mouse laser. <laughs> um, that's a good Phil question, actually. I need Tums. Tums, 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 Tums. Um, I need Tums. I don't know where they are. They're in here. Can, Can you bring my glasses? They're right there on your desk. Did you figure it out yet, Phil? I'm trying. Tom Smoothie's extra strength. <clears throat> <sighs> Looks like I'm installing Dota 2 if no one shows up. 200 to 5700. Oh. Wait, it's variable? What? Yeah. That's weird. Why would they do that for a plug-in mouse? I guess you can uh, lower... Can change, yeah, I could change the settings on the click of the button. I could, like, like uh, actually, it'll just straight up change the sensitivity, pretty much. Uh, where you'll be moving the mouse, and you hit this button and then it moves like half the speed. It helps a lot for FPS games, actually. Like, let's say you're gonna turn and then suddenly sight in on someone. Uh, you move a lot slower. Yeah. Not that I play FPS games. Babe, much. did you bring my glasses in here? here? I didn't touch your glasses. I, uh, you... <laughs> what? As you... He asked I you like a minute ago. That. No, the headset was still on your head. Must have been delayed then. Can you bring him in here? Really? Well, you have a detachable cord. I don't. Oh, okay, don't take it. You don't even have to take him off. You can unplug the cord. It's crazy. <laughs> she still took them off, didn't she? No, she just pulled them down. Yes. Yeah, she pulled them down. Thanks. Why I'm do you surprised look... no cats have been yelled at yet. What's that face? You... What did you do? Babe, pull in the middle. Face. No, no, give me the headset. No, pull there. Off. In the middle of the white pieces. Both ends. Oh. Yeah, you did have to unplug the whole headset. Did she unplugged the whole headset. Why are you giving me the eyes? Oh god. I didn't know Cindy could open her eyes. Bam, Asian joke. 
So she really unplugged the entire headset? No, she. there's two detachable cables. There's one that plugs into the computer and one that is a mid-break, and she unplugged the one in the computer. So she still unplugged it one of them. Catch. Cindy, sit in the corner. Oh, wait. Cindy's in the corner. All right, so, so I, something really amazing is happening at Disney World uh, next weekend. Uh, during the first Star Wars weekend of the month at Disney's Hollywood Studios, guests will have the opportunity to relive the famous carbon freezing scene from The Empire Strikes Back with Carbon Freeze Me. This new retail experience is created especially for Disney parks. So what it basically does, it uses like 3D technology, you know, imaging and all that. It takes all these, you know, pictures of your face or pose or whatever you want. Strike pose. And four weeks later, they come back with basically, you know, the carbon freezing in, like, plastic 8-inch form. And you're permanently Question. in this figurine forever. They're just hinting at the fact that Walt Disney is actually just frozen in carbonite right now. <laughs> you just upset our viewer. I'm sorry. <laughs> Get us free ticket. <laughs> Is she on the Disney College program because she's gonna have the time of her fucking life? Are you jelly? My friend was considering. Did you do that too? There you go, oh, Peter. Peter is frozen. <laughs> there you go. All yep, right. I figured it's she's gonna have an amazing time. I wish I w I did the Disney College program, but because I was living in England, it was gonna be a really rough commute, so uh, it didn't quite work out, but. Um, everyone I know that was on the Disney College program loves it, and usually most of them continue to work with Disney after, if they're not, like, still doing school. Shit. I know, you friggin' lived in Tampa. It was an hour away. Nope. Oh, this looks like the Take On Me video. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Fill your auto-focusing. Oh, yeah. Nice hair, bro. Thanks. It's the most hair I've had in years. <laughs> so, Disney fans one. are complaining that $100 is a lot, but I think for an 8-inch figurine of your 3D ass in, like, you know, carbonite form during Star, Star Wars weekend is actually not that bad. It could be a lot more expensive than it is. I would pay $100 for an 8-inch version of me in carbonite. I would definitely pay that much. So, I'm just going to do this since I don't feel like putting on my glasses. <laughs> Eight inches of Al Capone. Eight inches. It actually fits in well. I think yeah, that's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't laugh though, or they fly off. <laughs> this is just getting out of hand. What's me. wrong with you people? This is just a bunch of shenanigans. Nothing's wrong going with on. me. I'm just nothing's wrong, wrong with us. So your glasses are like in your eye socket. <laughs> he needs to just change his voice to be really, really low. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a program for that. Yeah. Um, so there's, there's also Bunny Phil. There is Bunny Phil. Well, there are programs that will change your voice, obviously. Uh, Alright, so we're... We're officially know, starting the show. Like you guys want to? Um, oh, no. Welcome to the show, y'all. If you guys want to uh, add this to your Facebooks, get some people to check it out. Okay. As soon as we hit ten view or ten. Post on Facebook already. I did. Yeah, you can just share my shit. Oh, I can just hit share it. Okay. Yeah. Basically, um, if we get up to forty viewers, we give away something, and then fifty, we give away something else, then sixty, we give away something. Probably not gonna happen. But if it does, if it Where does, can I find the share button. Oh, there it is. Sharing is caring. I like how these programs try to get you with these like ads. Like, would you like to install this? I agree. 
decline or cancel. And you think if you hit decline, it's going to stop the installation. Nope, not the case. And the, the game I am showing footage of today is Gotham Imposter, or no, yeah, Gotham Imposters, I think. Gotham City Imposters. Oh, this is it? Yeah, I forgot I might the actually name. watch the stream then. It's a fun game. It's really, like, just ridiculous fun. There's nothing serious about it. You really can't be serious about it. <sighs> like the premise, anyway. Yeah. I haven't gotten to try it yet. I actually did download it today, but I haven't tried it. I haven't launched the game yet. Or the demo or whatever. It? Ten bucks? Something like that. Fifteen bucks? Yeah. Ten bucks. Is it like a deathmatch kind of thing, or...? It's, uh... Yeah, it's different modes. They have, like, their own version of Capture the Flag Domination and stuff. Talking about bullshit as well as giving away free stuff. <laughs> nice, babe. <laughs> that, that's a description. All right. So. All right. So yeah. Um. Today, Sniper Elite. Did you just get quieter, or did my my headphones hit the uh, chair? Uh, I think I'm. Today. 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 May seventh. May seventh. Two thousand twelve. Twenty twelve. Octo mom uses spaghettios in her porn. What? What? Wait, she really does have a porn? Let me look it up. Got a headline. I just saw it in MSN. I'll link it in the chat. Wins reprieve home auction. I have fun memories of eating spaghettios. Is Ow! Since crushed into a fine powder. Hold on, guys. See the canned pasta makes an appearance. Give me a second. <laughs> Fucking spaghettios. Saucy octos. Saucy octos? Saucy octos. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> Anything yeah, but that. Spaghettios all over her body, and she's even throwing the spaghettios towards the camera. Wait, is this real? Times are hard, man. And times are hard when you yeah. are doing spaghetti porn to survive for your spaghetti porn. That is a whole new genre for the ages. How do I? How do I go back to my normal self? <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, Starhawk is getting fantastic reviews. I don't know if you guys. It's an amazing. I I played the beta for it. It's a third-person shooter for PlayStation. It's getting like nines and tens, exclusive. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Adjust my camera. I like how I actually managed to fix my chair. I thought I was gonna fuck it up. I think we all did. <laughs> how many tums are you allowed to have? Well, oh, enough. Five hundred. Like... What did Peter do? The fuck is this many you know? thing? Peter. He left. Peter us. got dropped out because of a horrible leg. Uh, at least he didn't rage quit. Alright. Try that again. There we go. Ditching us. Yeah. It yeah. just started, the audio started getting really choppy, and then I got dropped out of the... Alright, so yeah, um... Have you downloaded, uh, War Orchie 3 yet? Peter? I have not downloaded Warriors Orchie, no. Yeah. Um... It's getting good reviews. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of sucks that you can't get a disc of that. You have to download it. Yeah. Do you know why? Yeah. I'll tell you why? Because of the translation process, and they didn't want to pay for it or whatever. Something yeah, like that. Yeah, they didn't want to spend money making a uh, English dub, and Sony Computer Entertainment America does not allow you to publish discs that don't have that aren't translated. I think. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Like, uh, their PlayStations are region free, so you could buy it anyway, and wouldn't really. Yeah, you could. Yeah, but I they mean. They don't allow you to publish disc games that are in a different language. I guess they have to have an English version on there. 
Like, does something... Uh, Xbox doesn't have that restriction, so you can get it on disc on Xbox, but on PS3 you have to download it from PSN, yeah. or I guess import it from Japan. Yeah, well, go, go figure. The... Which wouldn't... <laughs> really. If you imported it from Japan, you would have Japanese text. Yeah, like, and then you're just... You wouldn't even be able to read the English. It's just the voices, like yeah. all the text in the game is in English, if you download it <laughs> on the... On While you wait, you better get Rosetta Stone Japanese edition. Yeah. <laughs> Um, One weird thing about it is uh, a lot of the names in the game are Chinese because it's from Chinese like history, a lot of it. Uh-huh. Uh, like, but Japanese version, they have different names that are like the Japanese versions of the names. So you're going to be reading the, the English text version of the Chinese names while they're saying the Japanese names you in the lost Japanese words. Like, three hours ago. Yeah, it's crazy. What were you talking about? <laughs> Never mind. Saucy octos. <laughs> That's saucy octos. Sounds fun. like a dish. Sounds like a dish saucy at a seafood octos. restaurant. It, 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 saucy oh, it's octos. a dish. It's a dish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, haha. -ha. It's like <laughs> Pokemon. I bet that thing is torn up. Yes. Torn up. Vagina wise. Vagina wise. It would be like Pokemon. If Pokemon. No, oh, never mind. So today, officially. I don't, even, I don't want to confuse this anymore. <laughs> oh, I really want pancakes. <laughs> so today. Yeah, I'm, I'm like getting hungry reading that name. Yeah, I'm reading for any time pancakes. So today. Talks, I was just like, oh. Alright, um, so today. Microsoft has officially released the $99 Xbox. Here's the catch. Oh, yes, I saw dear. that. You have to pay $15 a month for two years to own it. You have to sign a contract with Microsoft, like a cell phone, to get the game, not to get the system. That's $360 extra over two years. 360 Wait, you have to pay... More on top of the ninety-nine dollars. Yeah, you pay ninety-nine to get the Xbox. But then you have to be subscribed to Xbox Live for two years at fourteen ninety-nine a month. No, no, no. That's it's not. It's worse than that. It's you have to pay fourteen ninety-nine a month no matter what. You don't have to subscribe to their service, but you're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> so now you're paying. Can you get like what, Xbox from Live? From what I read, it's actually a required subscription on it. Well, they only give you a three-month card with it. It's stupid. It's so. Stu you wind up. They did the math. You wind up spending like an extra two hundred dollars. Wow. Well, well there was a, we were at GameStop tonight, and this guy was talking about how he wants another <laughs> Xbox because he was like on his fifth one. And the guy's like, mm. "Why don't you just get a PS3?" I don't want a PS3. I want my Xbox. All right. Well, so you spent six hundred dollars on Xboxes, not including live fees. But you refuse to make the switch because you want to play Halo or whatever the fuck. Look, you're uh, officially at the point where you could have bought a launch PS3 and gotten a better deal. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been through four Xboxes. Nine US dollars. <laughs> yeah. And the thing that I think is stupid with it is, because I read about it a little, and it says, like, you know, the $360 over the 24-month term per, uh, total that gets you the uh, gold subscription but Microsoft maintains the ability to terminate the offer at any time. <laughs> well, what they're trying to do, like, okay, Microsoft has proven that they don't give a fuck about gamers anymore. They have proven that from last year's E3. They care about Connect. They care about home entertainment. They care about Netflix. They care about YouTube. They do not give a fuck about gamers. This package is not for us. This package is not for someone who will go to GameStop and buy a play, uh, Xbox. It is for people who don't really care about it, but they say, oh, $99 plus $15 a month doesn't yeah. sound that bad. And then they go home, and it's like getting that cell phone, yeah. and then it's like, where'd all these hidden fees come from? Yeah. yeah. People are going to fall for it, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And once they do, that's it. And there that's are it. termination fees. Yep. If you try and cancel, there are termination fees. Like if you it's a cell phone. A it's a cell phone. $250. It is a cell phone contract, pretty much. It's what you're paying for. The what the best and part it just is goes down from there. You you have to. Wow, that, I'm actually looking at the chart right yeah, now. Yeah, it's, it's stupid. It is, it is so stupid. 
Well, it's I mean, if you cancel them, within the like, first four they, months of buying the Xbox, you owe two hundred and fifty dollars. Yep. <laughs> and then on month four, it's only two forty. They've expanded into like they've expanded so heavily into the the market that doesn't understand the first thing about video games. Mm-hmm. With the connect and now Which this. sucks because like you, saw, you see the like the Xbox the, like, the, the Xbox like was so much better than the PS2 in my opinion. What the first Xbox? Yeah. The old Xbox. Eh. Yeah, I yeah. love the first Xbox. I can't. I can't. I didn't really go online with it, but it had some. It's funny though because PlayStation 2 but. still having games released for it in other countries. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Anything I played on the original Xbox was just bad ports to PS2 games, so I can't really give it any credit. It had Star Wars, Phil. I know that was one of your favorite games, but I'm pl I'm, I've actually been playing that again recently. Yeah. Which, which Star Wars? Knights of the Old Republic. Knights of the Old Republic. Okay. Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah. Yeah. That the was on one. PC too. That was. Yeah. It? Yeah, I'm playing it on PC now. Yeah. But I'm basically recording the footage and like trying to like turn it into like a mystery science theater 3000 kind of thing. Hmm. I don't know if anyone's seen that show. It's an old show. I think everyone knows about it. Yeah, you at least know what it is. Uh, um, you'd be surprised. But, like, did you guys? I was as I was saying before. Did you guys see like when they had like the talk shows uh, with like the whole promotions for Connect? Like a whole audience of nothing but moms. Yeah. Freaking out yeah. over Connect. Because they're like, like, I can play games. And this huge success. With yeah, my, my kids. kids are gonna love this. I gotta, I gotta buy this, or my kids are gonna think I'm a horrible mom. Washing yeah, the windows. That is how. That is how. That is that. that children is how Connect became the fastest selling consumer, fastest selling consumer electronics device. Yep. See, they're doing exactly okay. Microsoft is ballsy in one aspect, because they have different divisions like the gaming division, the PC, the software, like they've, they've learned through Apple how to sell because why do people buy Apple products? Yeah, because it's, they, they talk, because of marketing. yeah, they, when you go to these Apple events, they talk to you like you're six years old. They show you something with three buttons on it and you're going to jump up because you can use it because there's only three buttons and you buy it. That's how, that's their formula. It's, it's all they do. It's, it's, fucking it's hard to hate them for it because they're just doing business. Yeah. Well, no, I don't hate Microsoft. It sucks if you're a gamer. Yeah, like, okay, I have an Xbox. I have a lot of games for it, Xbox 360. What I don't like is that this, this past year or two is when they just kind of, like, shit on us. Like, oh, well, you're a gamer, so hey, what? look, you can move your arm. Yeah, when I saw E3 last year, like, I don't get upset a lot, but when I saw their... He was upset. Their presentation, and the only thing they had to show was the Kinect and a five-second Halo 4 clip. I was like, wow, that's it? That is all you guys have. That's all you have coming out. Oh, don't worry, though. Like legitimately sad. Don't worry. You can watch YouTube videos on your fucking Xbox. Could have done that on PS3 five years ago. <laughs> With, like, innovation. No. Yeah, I have a Kinect. It's fucking dusty as hell. It's on my shelf. You didn't sell that yet? Well, maybe I'll give it away, because... <laughs> you were selling <laughs> it to buy the Zoom for it? Yeah. I bought the Zoom so I could use it in my room, but... I just... I don't know. I just... I guess when I... I, I can't... Uh, you're killing me right now with that link. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, those paint... Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's just stop the stream and go to IHOP. Let's just go. <laughs> Let's just bring the stream to IHOP. <laughs> I'll bring our laptops All right. over. And... Let's 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 go into this. Would you rather? If you give pancake breakfast, if you give breakfast pancake breakfast ten dollars <laughs> and pay for shipping, he'll take the connect. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tempting offer, right? It is actually. Yeah, I don't see anything. I would go for that if I had connect. All right, here's here's one. All right, so what we're going to do with the would you rather thing is I'm going to go in order. It's going to go Peter, Phil, Christina, and Cindy. So that way no one can okay. be like like arguing on top of each other. So, Peter, you know which one I'm going to ask you first. Would you rather okay. stop 9-11 or stop the Holocaust? I already know what you're going to say, but go ahead. I'm going to say the Holocaust. Uh-huh. And why is I that? I have to tell you why. Yeah, a little, a little not a like... more people died in a <laughs> much more horrible way. They were starved and 
mistreated, horrible medical experiments over a long period of time, forced labor. Like, it's just... Yeah. I, it's more torturous. Okay, 9-11, than... bad. Holocaust, <laughs> worse. More bad. <laughs> yeah, this, this is, I completely agree with that. I feel like, yeah, people died in 9-11, it was sad, tragic, but they died quick. It's they didn't suffer. Horrible. Like, they, they suffered maybe, it but... like, it's, it's yeah. not the same... Effect. It's, it's not. It's... It's, it seems like kind of weird to compare terrible things, but if you have to, Holocaust is definitely yeah. on a completely different scale. I mean, seeing some of those pictures from the Holocaust, it just, you can't, you, your stomach turns, but yeah, you see the picture of people jumping off the building on the World Trade Center. It it sucks, but you're it's, like, it's horrible. Yeah, it, it's horrible, but at the same time, it's like if you had to compare two of these situations, one. You had to compare these yeah. two, which is the point of this, of <laughs> yeah. the game. We're not saying yeah. we're not it's saying we're pro terrorists or anything. We're not saying no. that we're happy it happened. It's just if I had to choose. Yeah, yeah please don't do that. <laughs> the fucking government's gonna come after me. Your our internet's about to shut off. Thanks. They're gonna just keep me yeah. in the room and just like keep me away. Get tackled by FBI agents. <laughs> All right. Okay. Here's another one. This one. This one. This is for you, Phil. <laughs> uh, Would you rather run out of oxygen at the top of Mount Everest or underwater? Mount Everest. You would rather slowly, Wait. slowly die okay. like that? Uh, I guess it's no, just... because if I'm at the top of Mount Everest and I can't breathe because I'm too high, I can jump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the thing. I would do the exact same thing. That's how I would you know, die I'll if I was running out of air, too. I'd die horribly and flatly. At least maybe tumble down, maybe not just You're jump. probably gonna, like, start choking and fall to the ground before you can really... Like, it's not like Mount Everest is like like this. You're on the top and you I'll jump roll. off. It's like... If I, tr if it's I like a mountain. There's over, like I can just everywhere. roll my way down because... You're just gonna land in a little crevice and suffer. First of all, it's a good, very good accomplishment to be on top of Mount Everest in the first place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like my life's been fulfilled. I'm okay with just jumping I, to catch my breath. I agree about Mount Ever Everest for one reason, because I don't like feeling claustrophobic. And if I was in water suffocating... No, just being in that situation... you probably have a really nice view during the... Yeah, time. at least if you're on the uh, Mount Everest... I, I there is no I'd be fucking falling, like... Oh. This is awesome! <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be a big drop somewhere. Yeah, or you just roll down and get freeze to death in a fucking huge boulder of snow. So I guess... Yeah, you become, become like a too. seven ton snowball by the time you hit the bottom of the mountain. <laughs> Wipe out an entire group of people trying to climb the mountain. <laughs> I just saved all of you! <laughs> oh, here you go. Christina, you ready for this one? Yeah. Would you rather be kidnapped by terrorists or abducted by aliens? Um, let's go with aliens. And why? Sounds exciting. <laughs> Sounds exciting. Terrorists, same old story. Aliens, God only knows. <laughs> so <laughs> you're saying you, you're, you're saying you will accept their uh, their um, their experiments on you then? adventure for this scenario. Yeah. You already know experiments. what's gonna happen. It could be like with how many kinds of yeah. pancakes can we make with the given ingredients? We don't know. Exactly. We don't know about aliens. Look. So I'm gonna go <laughs> with aliens. We're gonna talk about we pancakes a lot. Terrorists. Now, aren't we? we don't know about aliens. <laughs> Look, at least the aliens, there's a chance it could go. They're nice. Yeah. So you might just get a little probe in your butt, but hey, the aliens could give you pancakes. The things you do for pancakes, you know. But aliens abduct you. Yeah. Um, the reason why I say aliens only because I I do think that if that happened, even though it would probably suck, it'd be pretty cool. Like, You're get a yeah. I don't care Maybe if I once the probe goes up there, yeah. you start to like it, dude. Or or just like, <laughs> you know, I mean, that's that's the only downside. Is I'm worried about that. Like, okay, the terrorists they might like throw you in a cell and piss on you and stuff. And, and, like, not feed you. But they're not going to shove something... And, like, cut your head off? Well, I mean, it doesn't say, would you rather be executed? It says kidnapped. 
So we're going to say with kidnapped, we're not going to say they're going to kill you, but they're just, okay, they're holding you for ransom. Like, they want something. They're going to torture you and, like, pee on you and shit, but they are not, well, they might. Actually, no, yeah. They, <laughs> Why do they pee on you? Yeah. <laughs> you keep Maybe water Sometimes you Maybe gotta torture. Go. <laughs> uh, they're going to pee on you, dude. I, I, just thought, I just thought about it. You know, they'll probably probe you with something at one point. So either way, you're fucked in the ass. Unwillingly. The terrorists or the aliens? Both. Yeah. Both. Yeah. Both. Wait, are the terrorists going to pee on you or the aliens? The, the, the terrorists. Both. Do aliens pee? Wait, what? Uh, I was talking about the terrorist. <laughs> Alright, Cindy, you ready for this one? Yep. Sure. Alright. Gotta find a good one for you, because this could be good. Oh, dear. Special treatment. VIP. <laughs> oh, damn. Would you rather have no one show up to your wedding or your funeral? Wow. Um, <laughs> obviously no one to my funeral. The wedding's going to be the best day of my life. Funeral, I'm going to be dead. I don't give a shit. Really? <laughs> yeah. Why would I want no one there on my wedding day? Well, let's pretend that... Personally, I don't give a fuck about weddings. Let's pretend that you... I want to, like... <laughs> What if you get, like, married at City Hall? Like, don't have a party. Never. I feel like we're missing the point. I feel like we're missing the point of the, <laughs> the whole thing. My, po my point would be, like, I would want to, like, have people at my funeral because I want to die in some kind of way where, like, it will it will be closed casket and, pe the, and then they'll open it at the funeral and everyone will go, Holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, really, that's like, you won't care. You'll be dead. It's your funeral. When, well, when you think about it, if no one comes to your funeral, imagine what your life must have been like before that. Like, you have no Seems friends. Right so far. If no one, shows up if no one funeral, comes to your you funeral, you probably lived such a shitty life that no one came to your wedding anyway, <laughs> if you got married, even. <laughs> that's, that's, that's true. Yeah, good or maybe there. things just went sour after the wedding. Like Cindy suddenly like revealed herself as the new Hitler, right after the wedding, and everyone's like, "Well," and someone I'm shot her, and no one goes to the funeral. And Hitler, and an alien, possibly. And maybe an alien that fucks people up the butt with pancakes. And pancakes, smothered. And then pees on them. <laughs> then pees and on lots them. of peeing. I waterboard with my pee. What if they're what if alien pee was like syrup? <laughs> Peter is just very <laughs> strong. Right? I offended Peter. Okay, here you go. Alright. You ready for this one, Peter? What about you? You're going to answer one. Well, I mean, it's hard for me to... It's okay, so here, I'm going to send the link. And Wait, wait someone else find one. Just yeah, I'm, I'm going to send you guys the link, because I don't think it's fair that I get to... Uh... So we'll all rotate with asking you, then. Yeah, we can start with Peter to ask. You have to go to situations. I'm, I'm going to find some food, because I got pancakes on the mind. Didn't you just eat dinner with us? Yeah, but I'm getting hungry now. After all this pancake talk. Oh my god, I love I you gotta ask the the third one. I think it's randomized. And Christina oh, just left. I need to ask this one. Probably got lagged. I'll call her. Oh, and Peter's gone. Oh, Peter left too. I'll call Peter. That website broke the internet. What? Dude, are you able to microwave this? Like, is it possible to microwave? No. That is old as shit. Yeah, dude, that's Throw really away. old. But I feel like you How shouldn't... Did we go there? Wasn't it like Thursday? Wait, what is it? It's, the, it's Ave? my uh, nachos from 10th Ave. That was last... I don't think... Thursday, yeah. I don't think it'd be very good. We got one. Yeah, she, she should be back. So I probably okay. shouldn't stick it in the microwave. Why no. don't you try it cold first? And see if it's green. I don't like cold nachos. Oh, oh it's so about nachos. I guess I'll just throw it out. 
Oh, is it like the, the 10th Avenue nachos? Don't yeah. Get them cold. They're great. He wants some microwave yeah, aluminum them. foil. That's no, bad. Microwave aluminum. Oh, there's gonna be a fire. Just put them put them in a different container if you have. To. You're talking to Phil here. He's an engineer. Yeah, he's done this before, hasn't he? Microwave yes. foil. Yes. I have an amazing one that I need to ask when it comes to my turn. Where's the Christina? She's trying to get her internet back, I think. Don't know why it's not working. But Yeah, she's having trouble getting on the Wi-Fi. But you're not? Apparently not. I mean, I before when she lost connection, I lost it too, but mine came back. Hmm. I don't know what the deal is. Hers is like, oh, no connections found, no nothing. Yeah, she has to connect to the, uh, um, to the shitty Wi-Fi for now. So you guys, so your computer stops having a fit. I don't know. <laughs> oh god, I have a great one for Peter. I can't wait. <laughs> it's his turn. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what I miss? Nothing. Did you microwave that? No, I'm uh, eating cereal. Uh, with the cornflakes? No uh, the frosted flakes. Yeah, the cornflakes. I don't remember when the last time I had frosted flakes was. Well, yeah, we bought those a long time ago, so they might not. Like when Mike was here. Cats. For some reason, her wireless <laughs> network card had disabled itself or something. Her wireless connection had disabled so itself. If, 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 the, bag's, if, if the bag on the inside has never been opened, do you think it's okay Someone to go a little it. past the date? Yeah, go ahead and eat it. Because the date was December 8th. Oh wait, December 8, 2012. That's good. And we're back. Okay. What? Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. Well, no cam. You have no camera. I don't know if you know that. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? All right. Well, Peter, go ahead and ask me while she figures that out. Oh, hang on. I'm getting a really bad connection on it yeah, right now. Good old brothers playing those Call of Duties. I don't think that's it. Okay, Okay. so what do I do on this website? Uh, if Random? You, I click on situations. Those are usually the best ones. Uh... Wow. I keep getting the hook, the fucking wow. god big bang one. I like the gross ones. Of course you do. <laughs> oh my god! This is gonna get me in trouble. So no, you have to stay in situations for the first subject. We'll switch subjects after, but I don't, I don't want to. Cake or pie? These are all dumb. All right, Peter, go ahead and go. We're gonna switch so topics. We'll go to uh, gross. Cause yeah, do gross. Do like, gross. there's a few of them gross already. Is amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Do. It. <laughs> <laughs> the one that disgusts you the most, ask that one. Oh no, just ask whatever one you think will be for a good conversation. <laughs> I don't think any of these qualify for good conversation. I mean, yeah, like, just... interesting, like, where we can make this, like, really? Like, you know, you would do that? There you go, Christina, you're back. 
Even though all I see is a lamp. Yep. The cup one is pretty gross. This describes you guys' one. situation. It's just so childish, honestly. <laughs> then pick any category you want, Peter. You guys like the link I posted? Where did you post? I like that link. It's, nice. it's definitely nice. their situation. Cool. Yep. So you should take that laptop into the middle of your garden. Oh my god, some to of these... Neighbors. Some of these are gross. Did, did you see the cup yeah. one? The cup? Uh-huh. Yeah, I gagged a little. Just a bit. So many of these are just like... Popularity contests. Like, oh, I've had versus... <laughs> Something else. <laughs> Hotmail versus Gmail. It's not even like interesting. Fine, make one up if that helps. Um. Uh, it's hard. I don't really have anything. Uh, some of these are fucking foul. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, w I'll wait. Yeah. I mean, I Someone don't want to ask anyone the cup one. Cause I wouldn't want anyone to answer it because no one would. You'd have to, though. It's part of the game. I... Really? Mm hmm. You would answer that. I'd have no choice. Okay. Alright. It's not like it's, it's, it's part of the. Peter, you want to skip your turn for now so you can think of a good one? And I'll just go on and ask someone else the question? I doubt I will, but yes, skip me. Skip me. All, right. Away. Christ All right, Christina. I'll ask you this one. What? <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Would you rather find out your husband was the local back page e escort or find out that your daughter... Is a new adult star, adult adult porn star. Um, probably my daughter, I guess, because at least she's going places and making money and not, you know, just being a bum somewhere. If so. he if he was an escort, he, he'd be doing the same thing. He'd be having sex for money. Yeah, but he's married. If she's, you know, if he's just on his own, he's just or, a if she, you know, underage hoe. Peter, how do you feel she's about that? Underage. She could be. 18, I don't know. Peter, if it was the other way around. I don't really care about these. <laughs> I can't really take these seriously in any way. You're not supposed to. <laughs> it's just supposed to be like, alright babe, you can ask me. Okay, I'm not gonna ask the cup one, that's just foul. Um, I'm not about have... the cup one. Oh, okay. Not the cup one. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Would you rather have to keep saying it. drink Here we go. two liters of sweat or eat three big cups of toe cheese? Did you mix it up? No. What is toe cheese? No, that's what it says. So the one I'm looking at doesn't say that. Oh, yeah, it does. Maybe it's a different um. one. Hmm. 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 <laughs> hmm. Uh, if I had to, I'd probably go with the sweat. Points. Because two liters isn't that much. Uh, and and. It's a pretty good amount. But and t but three. Two liters is kind of. Okay. That's not like something you just chug. Let's. It's more than three uh, cups. Let's think consistency though. Toe cheese is not liquid. It's like thick and nasty. Ah, sometimes my sweat gets chunky, dude. What? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I would know. It comes out of my armpits. I mean, it could be sweat from anywhere. It could be ball sweat. It could be toe sweat. Okay. It can be... That's like sweat. saying that the, the toe cheese can come from an amazing girl with amazing feet and taste great, or some guy who doesn't wash his feet. <laughs> you can't, you can't use know. variables. Sometimes my butt sweat is chunky. Great. The whole point of it is not to use the variables like that, because then it'll be an endless conversation. 
That's like the funeral. No one's yeah. going to see me. Like The point is, it's just if you were watching it at that moment. Phil, would you rather... <laughs> Would you rather have constipation or explosive diarrhea for a week? I want to add a, a week in that. Explosive. I mean, like... It's hard to say. So not shitting for a week or exploding... So I've, I've, I've been constipated before, and it's, constipated is really not that bad. Oh, for a whole week? Um... I, I, I like when I was hurt. deployed in Africa, I shat two times. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like the kind of shits where like you hear like a loud thud at the bottom of the porta potty. Oh jeez. <laughs> uh, There's an echo. Like it can't, it they, it comes out like a brick. That's what like the MREs do. So you'd rather be constipated than so shit. It's not really that bad. Well, I but mean, you, even better. You can kind of control it when you're constipated. Like, like if you're constipated and you feel it, you can wait. And then when you're when it's convenient for you, you can go spend about half an hour pushing. And get hemorrhoids and shit? That's how I did. Bloody assholes, anal fissures. I only got an anal fissure once. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't heal quick, though. At least... At least yeah, but when you're not, to when you're able to control if you shit or not, like, like if you control like if you can shit or not, you like you know it, you give it enough time to heal. Yeah, but or you could just like Peter said, make sure you eat and drink liquid and just shit everywhere, and be okay with it because you just ate and you're gonna shit. I mean, you can eat whatever you want for a whole week and it doesn't matter because it'll just. Fall out. That's that. Of course, that's your answer. Constipation is also more controlled because if you have explosive diarrhea and that shit fly, liter, literally that shit flies out of the bottom of the seat and stuff, like all over your legs <laughs> and everything. Here goes. That's a here goes variables again. <laughs> well, you're saying explosive diarrhea, so I'm thinking diarrhea that explodes out of your ass. Well, if we're going that far, the constipation would also be like you'd have to squeeze for 12 hours straight before anything comes out, and you're in terrible pain because it's that bad. At, at least if we're it gonna would, be like it would be the kind of shit that you could literally just like, even if it's an inconvenient area, you could just pick it up because it's like a brick anyway, and just get rid of it somewhere. <laughs> in an inconvenient area, you would pick up your constipated shit <laughs> and get rid of it somewhere. <laughs> You can pick up the brick and put it somewhere more convenient. Well, like, oh, I don't yeah. like it here. You can I'll, put it in the, I'll put it in the window instead. No, that doesn't look nice. That's, that's bad feng shui. I'm going to put it on the dresser instead. Hmm, yeah, that looks nice. That's more I mean, convenient. It doesn't like get in my a, way. It's I'm like not going to trip on it there. Shit that you can't flush it down the toilet. So you can take it like with a glove or something and just beat it with a hammer until it shatters into smaller pieces to flush down the toilet. Why do you need to do this? Why don't you just go shit outside? It's like, Let's oh, assume in, my head we, in the defense in of my both head we've scenarios. been in Africa all the time now because Phil mentioned Africa. <laughs> So in my head, we've been in Africa all the time. In two scenarios, with a toilet, like a working toilet with plumbing and stuff, the diarrhea would be so bad that it would clog the toilet, and the the constipated shit would be so no, no, firm it that you the couldn't toilet, flush it down. It's basically down. liquid. It's basically just all I don't know, I've seen, the toilet. I've seen some things. I'll just leave that at that. Why are there variables? It's just a simple question. Would you rather have diarrhea? No, you're answering the question and changing the variables. Like, oh, what if, what if? I'm saying talk about the variables. It's not that bad. I'm getting a lot of feedback. Take it to a ridiculous level. Yeah, there's a lot of feedback. My mic's mute was muted, so it wasn't me. How are you talking if your mic was? Muted? I just turned it back on. It's quick. I'm gonna mute mine now. I just had my mute for a couple of seconds and it's still going. I don't hear it right now. I actually don't hear it at all. I hear it faintly. I hear it squeak, Yeah, I squeak, muted squeak. mine and nothing happened. I feel like, no, it, I feel like it's Uvu. Because I don't have this problem with but Skype. let's all mute our mics at the same time. One, two, three.
And what did that solve? No, it definitely went away. I didn't hear. Oh, wait. It definitely yeah. it went away when we all muted it. No shit. I don't hear wait. it at all right now. Okay. I hear it. Someone, it's not, I'm going to. I still hear it. It's still there, right? Yeah. So it's not me. I don't hear it now. Now I hear it. I was muted when you heard it, so it's definitely not me. Uh, I don't hear it. I, I hear it. I don't hear it. I hear it. Yeah, I hear it right now. Christina, really with the pancakes? <laughs> I'm just keeping the pancakes going. Cindy's showing us that hers is muted. Phil is moving his mouth so we can see that his is muted. Were we still hearing it? Yeah, I still hear this whistling. Yeah, squeaking. it like comes and goes. Yeah. I just a ghost. heard the whistle. Look at a ghost! Oh my god, this is fucking gross. Would you rather have sex with a consenting nine-year-old or your own sister? Obviously. Well, is my sister hot? Oh, I thought you meant 19-year-old. No, nine. Wait, does that imply that the sister is not consenting? No, she is. Your own or, consenting sister. Doesn't say an age, uh, though. It would really depend on what my sister looked like. <laughs> I feel like that should not be a factor. <laughs> wow, like some of I these really things. Like that I have to make factor. the best of it. Regardless of the situation of which one you would choose, you have to just make the best of it. <laughs> okay, so what if you have an ugly sister and a really attractive nine year old? Is that what, <laughs> you, gotta do I don't what you gotta do? If you have to choose one, dive in. Cool. Literally. It's like it's like when someone is fleeing past and their Chris turret Hansen's in the League of Legends, sometimes you just gotta dive in. Mm hmm. Ew. I don't would, like this game. Yeah. Would you rather eat a used tampon or a liter of diarrhea? Liter. A whole liter of it. Tampon. Uh, tampon. Yeah. Tampon. Significantly. All right, babe, let's talk about other news. What do you have? I have news. I've played Skyrim for maybe 10 hours total, and I'm already thinking about trading it in. <laughs> oh, edgy, huh? Edgy. Controversial? And maybe? our viewer just left. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the best part is? The best part of this whole thing? Skyrim? No, about, um... Uh, there's so many people added me on... Uh, there's like six people added me on Facebook. Uh, ten people added me on YouTube. And four, five people added me on uh, Twitch. But only one guy's in the chat. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I guess Mondays might not be a good day to do it, huh? Mondays are a drag. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's also a lot of, uh, fucking, um, this week there's a lot of, uh, tournaments going on for different games. I don't know if you, if you look at the suggested channels... 6,000 people yeah. in one. Well, if we switch off Mondays, I could start binge drinking again. <laughs> so that's a plus. That's a plus. No, just do that on the stream. That's fine. Mm. Yeah, but I usually go to Headliner. Yeah, no. I, I think I would uh, kick Phil off the show I'm if he started doing it on the show. <laughs> I would just mute him yeah. and take him off the call. He wouldn't even know it. He'll be talking to his computer, drinking. Speaking of... I would. There, I would be that guy. There's a new spray that makes you instantly drunk. Oh. Wow. Can I... Can you buy it? Can I try it? It costs $26. That's a it? A French-American scientist invented an alcohol spray that instantly intoxicates the user. However, the effects are nearly as brief, wearing off in a matter of moments. So I could... That's in other awesome. words... It would take That's a thousand sprays to equal one beer. That's 
that's fine. For twenty six dollars. Now, does it give you any like hangover effects, like the the viewer said? Like, um, I guess if you you know have like a hundred squirt bottles and just chug them all. <laughs> you might as well drink then. I mean. If if there's no effect, I guess that'd be a good thing, because you can get your buzz. Reportedly, not only does the sensation of being drunk wear off almost immediately, but the user would also supposedly be able to pass a breathalyzer test. Yeah, so that... So in other words, you might not have a hangover. Imagine, okay, imagine being the... And then by the time you're ready to be done, you're good enough to drive. Yeah, um, imagine being the designated driver in a situation where you can't have fun, but... So you don't have to wait to sober up. You just yeah. Spray, you spray, have, have some fun, and go home. I mean, That's it could awesome. it could That's cure alcoholism. I'm buying it. it could yeah, you can use that to cure alcoholism. Whenever you want the buzz and you're an alcoholic, just give yourself a spray or two. So they're and going through all the like drinking. that'll help you actually like rely on it less slowly but surely. Like like those new e-cigarette things. So, is there any new games coming out besides Starhawk and Diablo 3 anyone else is waiting for? They've announced uh, Elder Scrolls Online. That's not coming out for a that. while. Yeah, but I... No, it's actually 2013. What is that thing? That animal of that, stuff? That's an Ewok. That's what I thought it was. It's hard touchy. to see. Yeah, I mean, the thing about uh, Skyrim Online or the Elder Scrolls Online... Uh, is I feel like if I'm going to get it, it's not going to be on release because, uh, you know, it'll be, buggy it'll be so buggy you probably won't be able to play it. Yeah, Max Payne 3, I'm going to wait on that. I do want to play it, but I don't know if I'm going to buy it because uh, it's been a long time and it's nothing to do Whoa. with the first two games except for like a little backstory. Yeah. Some reviewer gave it a 3.5 yeah, and they pulled they his article. A... They have their little trailer or whatever, like, hey, from the makers of Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead Redemption. Yep. Hey, how about a Max Payne? Why don't you do Max Payne 3 from the makers of Max Payne? Yeah. That would maybe make me interested. Oh, but... oh dude. What about Spate? Remember that game? What? Spate. What? Spate. Spate. It's an indie Sp game. Spate. Yeah, I'm posting the link to Spate. The, two, the 2D platformer, the Steam platformer. Oh, yeah, you showed me that, yeah. I, I just put the link in the... You're not going to buy that shit. I think I'm going to buy that shit. It, look, it, it, it kind of looks like, you know, like a steampunk limbo. So, wait, you're going to buy a game that's going to be about two hours worth of playing. But, you, never mind, never mind. Never mind. Dude, I think it would be a fun game. Yeah, but I'm saying I you're actually going to spend game. money. You're not just going to, you know... Acquire it through use of the Depends internet. Depends on how it's available. Remember how I bought Terra? Oh, jeez. <laughs> how much have I played that? Oh, we're not going to talk about that again. We already cleared that up yesterday. That's it. You buying Terra makes as much sense as me buying a mouse with 16 buttons on it. And both of them happened. Yep. And that's why I'm a bunny. Mine, I have, I have a good excuse. This thing was on sale, so it was cheaper than, than what I would have gotten the Logitech for. Yeah, um, babe, you said you had some news? Oh, besides the alcohol spray? Oh, there's something that I didn't know that I saw in an article today. It says, um, wealthy smartphone users are more likely to own an iPhone, this study found. Wealthy smartphone users... wealthy people are... have the money to spend <laughs> on Apple products. Has anyone else... Uh, <laughs> someone call me back. Because I'm getting that stupid pop... You see, look in the stream. If you look at that ad, it keeps making a click so sound, and it doesn't go away. And it's actually recording through the stream. I can see the bar fly up every time it does it. So call me back. Someone in the comments say they call bullshit. That there's been numerous trusted sources that have revealed studies showing that wealthy users are Blackberry and Android. 
iPhone users are most likely Black, to have There are a lot of business like people that use Blackberry still. There's, yeah, I know a lot of business. Well, not really. <laughs> they all look like the new ones. There was actually something about Blackberry like poking fun at Apple and like their new ad. I saw like about that. Rim job, whatever. Oh, so here's interesting news. Um, they have come even closer to developing, like, a legitimate lightsaber. Uh, they've released one. It still has, like, you know, the, t the f little tube, but uh, it's, like, a legitimate, like, heavy-duty fucking laser in it. And if you don't wear protective, like, laser glasses, you will instantly get blinded, which I guess could be considered a downside, but... <laughs> You know, yeah. it's a small little problem. You can go blind. Like it, like it's more legit than those like Star Wars replica ones that cost 120. So if someone doesn't have these protective eyeglasses, you can just go up to someone with this saber and blind them. You can blind people. Yes. Essentially. Oh, okay. Yes. The blinding weapon. Blind saber. <laughs> blind saber. Okay. <laughs> I, I like how the trailer, like they're they're calling them laser sabers to like not rip off Star Wars, but the trailer ha for them has Star Wars music and a lightsaber battle, which it warns you not to do. <laughs> but it does show the lightsaber lighting a match in the video. It actually lights a match. Yeah. All right. I feel like it would be awesome if. They didn't say you go blind if you didn't have glasses on using I Like, is that what you that's, need? That's for future development. Is that what you need, what Cindy has on, to, uh... No, if you watch the trailer, <laughs> it's like the, uh... Because that'd be awesome to watch two I mean, people... Those are, like, for tanning, dude. I know. Can you use the laser saber for tanning? <laughs> Just hold it up to your scout well. No. You probably get like. Considering that I saw, I just watched a match get lit with it. Well, matches light pretty easily. That's kind of the whole point. Yeah. Still. You can scrape a match on a wall depending on the type of match and it'll light. Yeah, but you can't just go. It's on fire. <laughs> if it was. I mean, I guess. That is just legit a powerful fucking laser. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> On other news. Ooh, you can buy it. How much does this cost? It's only a hundred bucks. Three dollars. Wait. Your call now. So the thing that can make you blind is something you can buy. It, how isn't that illegal? You can go up to someone and fuck Wait, with them. I don't understand this. It says ninety nine ninety five in stock, but when you choose through them, it's two eighty nine ninety five, three seventy nine ninety five, or the one that lit the match is sixty nine ninety five. Life up. Almost like a lightsaber. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I feel like, um, yeah, no, no, uh, the one that, uh, lights the match is just an actual laser for a thousand dollars. Okay. Ooh, we have chocolate. Don't even. Oh, I see what it is. The hilt is a hundred dollars, and then the lasers are, you know, three hundred to a thousand dollars. So they don't actually yeah, hurt you duty. then. The laser? Yeah. I'm sure if you use it out of the hilt and like harness it for evil. Really. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Oh man, I'm just watching the the, the fucking video of these two guys, and I can't take it serious. I can't take it seriously. I guess because they have the fucking how like how much they're trying not to be Star Wars, but make a trailer like this. I feel like there's a lot of effects going on. That's definitely fake. Yeah, I mean, but the like the lighting, the match, that's legit. I don't know. I feel like something that part up. stands out to me. You guys want to see something legit? Oh jeez. I actually, I just disliked my own video. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm tired. Our two-handed great sword is. Why am I watching some huge fat dude use a gigantic sword? Oh my god. Because it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's, oh god, like some cold steel? that's a lot more yeah, awesome. Yeah, cold steel. Yes, that's a lot more awesome. I mean cold steel. That is so much more awesome than the fake lightsabers. And you don't need ridiculous glasses to use it. You just need a pick carcass. <laughs> yeah. You just need things to cut. Is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> and who doesn't have things to do? Yeah, you could cut for days. You would go outside, you would cut someone's tree down for them. Oh, this thing, I'll get it for you. That would have been convenient last year when that tree fell. But then again, so would a lightsaber. This guy's doing pull-ups on it. Someone commented saying, What would happen if you use this sword to strike another sword of the same kind? Would the universe explode? Yes. Uh, just, just a black hole. <laughs> it would be the same thing as dividing by zero. It would just large hadron all over the place. Deliver pancakes for all. Yeah. So yeah, do you guys think that Black Ops 2 is going to have a problem selling because of, of Halo 4? They come out the same month. Are they coming out around the same time? Yep. How far apart within that month? Uh, actually, I think it's like maybe a week or two, if that. Good. I still don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna dent it. I don't. I think. I think uh, Call of Duty has like bigger midnight releases than Halo. Well, you know, Halo. Oh, I don't know about or that. Maybe it's just been because it's that long uh, since the last time I went to a Halo release. Halo. See, the thing is, you gotta look at it this way. If you play Halo. And you're really good at Halo, you probably don't play Call of Duty. At least not, like, competitively. And if you're good at Call of Duty, you're probably not going to fucking go crazy. You might buy Halo, maybe not when it comes out, but you'll eventually play it. But I feel like Call of Duty has that that niche that everyone needs to buy that game when it comes out. And even if it's going to suck, they're still going to buy it. There's no doubt about it. But I feel like Halo, they're still going to do successful. They're still going to sell a lot of copies because it's Halo and there hasn't been an actual sequel to Halo 3 in so long that people want it. Hell, I want it. I beat people every might fucking... People turned off the more they learn about it depending on how the new company goes with it. I'm just amazed at how many fucking exclusive Sony's making. It's crazy. Like, it's really nuts how many exclusives they're just pumping out, and it's six years into the console almost. Yeah. Like, they're, they're actually just confirmed, someone leaked that there's going to be another kill zone. Starhawk's coming out to, tonight, actually. There's a midnight for it. Um, got a few other games. The Last of Us coming out in the future. I mean... It's going to be a good... Uh, Sony did good. See, I feel like Sony did better than Microsoft because, look, okay, the first year or two it was, like, kind of stuttery, but now look at them. They're, yeah. they're... Yeah, now they're, like, making shit. Yeah, they're making games still. They still have so many exclusives. They're making things that people will play. And that's going to set them up for next yeah. generation because when you play fucking, like, Uncharted 3 or 4, whatever last one comes out for the PlayStation 3... When the next one comes out for the next system, it's like, well, I had time to like this series, so I'm going to buy it for the other, the next generation. But, 
Um, PS3 started at weak, but then just never started, never stopped. Um, yeah. Moving forward. Yeah. Xbox started strong and then rested on their laurels. Mm-hmm. And now it's all about the connect. <coughs> uh, there are uh, cross and place everywhere. <laughs> 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 And now there's blood. The cat is terrified. Lots of blood. So I'm hearing that uh, Guild Wars 2 is going to literally... Any remaining players of Star Wars old, the Night of the Old, or the Old Republic is going to be gone when Guild Wars 2 comes out. That's what I'm reading anyway, statistically speaking. Probably. There's too many MMOs I mean, coming out. There's just too I'll many. I'll bring up that Triforce thing again. Yeah, the Terra Guild... Terra Wars uh, I'm, of the Old Republic. Terra, Terra is fun to play, but I don't get into it at all, if that makes sense. Here's the article if you guys want to read about the uh, Connect thing. Bundle. A bundle. A.K.A. spend more money. Trundle? Trundle? Oh, jeez. Got low on the brain. Oh, where? Where? Get back, get back. I don't have any mana. <laughs> <laughs> mana down! It's okay, it's only Trundle. Just hit him. There's really no He's gaming news. Oh my god. Thing. There's like no news. No, this week sucks. Well, this last weekend sucks. So Oh. Well, the Avengers came out. That was pretty cool. Here's some cool news. Sony's going to be streaming E3 on their PS3. So if you have it, you know, the little the little uh, startup section you get, it's going to be able to be watched from right there. Nice. When is that again? Have an E3 party. I think it will. It's supposed to be, what, June? June or July? June, I believe. My luck, I'll probably be working. Show? Yeah. With my luck, I'll be in the desert. About. Not. Be in the desert. I don't think you. Could, I don't think you're allowed to stream a stream. It's kind of like infringement. Like, <laughs> it's like I don't think I could sit here and stream Dexter, and be then be okay with that. They'll probably be mad or something. Mm-hmm. Like a slap on the wrist. Yeah. Slap on the wrist. Apparently, that's, YouTube gives you a three struck warning with copyright da- material. Hmm. Yeah, so I mean, I guess that would be considered a slap on the wrist. Oh my god, did you guys see the trailer for God of War's multiplayer? Nope. Oh, it's so fucking awesome. I'm gonna link it. This fucking video. Uh, Of course. uh, Look at those fucking graphics. The God of War series is finally making the leap to multiplayer. Oh my god, everyone is sending me messages. I don't know what to do. Okay. What is happening? Oh my god, please, everyone stop. Oh my god, I'm having a breakdown. Wait, what? I don't know, I don't, I don't know where I have two people texting me. It's like it's like someone planned an attack. There's two people texting me, two people aiming me on Facebook. Someone's writing on my friggin' wall, and I don't, I, I'm just like, just, you, you, um, you could just close out of Facebook if it bothers you. Just... Smart it still goes people to my that phone. don't have friends. Smart people. It's, it goes to my phone and my phone starts buzzing. Uh, are, you guys, are you guys watching I'm that? Still, I'm still promoting the thing. I'm, I'm like trying to, to do anything to bring No. I in. feel like this week. We'll make sun kissed. Give me money. Product placement. Sponsor. Oh, I love God of War's kill scenes. The ga- Look at the... F- oh my god, the game looks amazing. And that's like it's the fucking mouth just did that. Yep. Yeah, I mean. No. 
fuck? And here's the thing. That's ridiculous. Okay, at first I was like skeptical about the whole multiplayer thing because I love God of War and I'm like they're gonna ruin it. But I think it looks sweet. The way they set it up is you're not going against each other, but you're two factions going after the same objective. So yeah. it's whoever gets there first and does it, and you know you kill each other along the way. But the object is to to get to the end of the level and do whatever the objective is. So I mean, yeah. what the hell was that? I muted myself. Let's all be thankful I muted myself when I did. Cause that was that was what you heard was from Peter's mic. Was you sneeze? That was a huge sneeze. Oh wow! I sneezed. Thought you I thought you stepped on a dog or something. It's a very loud sneeze. <laughs> a dolphin. A dolphin. That's what a dolphin sounds. A dolphin dog. They have those dolphins, man. Fucking Get under my feet. Fucking dolphins. Yeah, I'm trying to find other game news, but uh, there, there isn't. Nope. I mean, that new game, Detour, Detura, or whatever, for PlayStation, you guys hear about that? Detura, or whatever it means, no. White Flower. Yeah. Um, apparently, it was a, it's a downloadable-only game. It's 90 minutes long, but there's like 13 endings, and they said the game would have been amazing. Like, graphically, it's amazing. The story is very compelling. But because they wanted to implement... When you say 13 endings, do you mean, like, Mass Effect 3 having 16 endings? No, like, the game's short because there's choices, and every time you make a choice, that choice can change the outcome of the next scene. You have another viewer. Which could change, the, which could change everything. So, I mean... This could change everything. But the, what, what sucks about it, and I was going to download it, but... I've been wa reading reviews and everyone's saying that because they wanted to implement the PlayStation Move, that they actually, if you don't have the Move, you can use the Dual Shock, but you have to use the Six Axis, which I hate. Oh. So yeah, it's like I wanted this game, and because they can't just let us gamers who just want to use a fucking controller use a controller, I'm not gonna get it now. It, it, it's it's sad. Because next generation, that's all it's going to be. Imagine playing Mortal Kombat by standing up and doing the moves. It sounds cool in theory. In fucking theory, it sounds like you're going to fucking go up, wear, wear a fucking scorpion costume, come out of the fucking room and just go nuts. But in reality, you're just going to be flailing your arms at the screen, hoping that your combos work. That, that's, that's how I feel about it. I think the only thing the PlayStation Move is good for, or the Xbox Connect, not even the Xbox, fuck the Xbox, and it doesn't have a fucking controller, is gun games. They can actually aim at the screen and shoot. Yeah. That's what I think. I, w I mean, maybe exercise games if you're really into that. They got, a, they got a UFC game, teach you how to be a fighter. I don't know how well that would work, but apparently everyone says it's good. You know, I have that ad that you had before. The click, 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 click. Isn't it annoying? You, you uncheck play. You uncheck play. You uncheck play. I don't see it. Right uh, all I see is quality. Right uh, my, my, nope. Nope. Oh, yeah, that fixed it. I don't have that option. Yours isn't clicking right now. No, I'm saying in general, as far as flash goes. Mine just says quality print, oh, global didn't... settings, Adobe Flash Player, and zoom in, show all. You're just broken. Fucking alien word. Yeah. <laughs> oh, with thousands of dollars. <laughs> so yeah, do you, have you guys been watching the gameplay for uh, Gotham City Imposters? No. Uh, on mm -hmm. and off. Yeah, I mean it's pretty. I kind of like it. It like I and. It, I think as a group it would be fun to play and you know it's cheap but it's only it's like you get two hours worth of the demo and you keep your level like if you buy the game you don't just reset so it's not going to be like oh play the game for two hours and it's just it literally the, some of the shit the game says it's, it's ridiculous it's fun it's fun I I haven't had this I much mean, fun with a shooter on mute, so I yeah don't... well no it's on mute anyways for the stream but put it this way do you remember the good days of like fucking Quake 3 and shit 
like where that was just fun mm-hmm. bunny hopping and you just using rockets. That's what you do in this game. It's it's that's what it is. It's just pure fun. Nice. Yeah, and you can is get it, a. It, is there ADS in this? Yeah, I'm ADSing all over the place. Oh. <laughs> all right. Oh uh, yeah. Just ADS. Yeah. Yeah, there goes the other reviewer. Yeah. Yeah, they left. <laughs> Scared them away. We're not fun enough. Well, We're not fun enough. Well, yeah. This, this, this... Everyone, be more funny! I feel like we're just discouraged because we only have one viewer, but... Thank you for uh, watching us, Pancakes. Maybe. Thank you, Pancakes. Thank you for staying with us. Breakfast. Are you here for, uh... Awesome. One of the drawings, or are you just here because you're being awesome, and... You're probably not going to want to be here... If you find out... The truth. <laughs> 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 No, truth is, truth is, we we do do giveaways, but we only do giveaways when we meet a certain amount of viewers. So what I'll do for you since you watch this is, when we do the giveaway, you'll have two extra tickets automatically in the drawing. Just message me on Twitch, just so I remember, because I won't remember. And just say, like, I watched your episode four, and later in the week when we do another drawing, I'll include you and just email you if you want. So... That's, like, all I can do right now, because you're the only viewer. I'm not going to waste a key that other people want to get. They just don't know how to do it, even though I made a video on how to do it. Sad. Well, you're a good sport. Thank you for that. Gentleman in his collar. Gentleman in his collar. Are there any games you, like, play or anything like that? Like, between, like, League of Legends or uh, Battlefield or any of those shits? StarCraft 2? StarCraft 2. Yeah, I, I feel I feel like that's what's that. going on. I want to play it. I need to buy it. Oh, I see a cat on Phil's... behind Phil. Cat oh. is sneaking up on Phil. <laughs> <laughs> you know how you fuck with them with the laser? Oh, it's happening. It's happening on the live stream. <laughs> this is gonna get us views. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, spooky it's fell for it. Well, it's not so much that they, they view for a minute each. It's so hard to do this off of my camera. Twitch won't show you the number of viewers in the like they could be watching it but if they don't have an account it won't show you that they're watching You're like yeah. yeah it just brings your view account up so we don't really know it's hard to tell yeah the only way i can tell is like tomorrow we'll be able to check on it yeah but. tomorrow i can tell how many i think we only got like 20 today i i do feel like there's a lot of tournaments going on a lot Right now, yeah, and uh, there's been something with League of Legends going on too. Yeah, right? and League of Legends is huge on Twitch as it is, so. Yeah, League and StarCraft are. Yeah. And he's saying it's Monday, and there's, there's that means Day Nine is on, and I think that's another uh, stream thing, like a c- competition thing. Mm. So I guess maybe we Mondays, yeah, maybe Mondays is a bad idea. Yeah. Like Wednesday so I can start Monday. binge drinking on my Monday nights again? Or you could just yes. uh, promote for Tuesday, best you can. I don't care. Yeah. I think this, yeah, but we're do about... Do you want to do something tomorrow? Like, maybe maybe not like a podcast kind of thing, but... Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow. Try something, see how it goes. I mean, I like to play a game, all of us, besides League of Legends. <laughs> Yeah. Because it's our favorite game yeah, in the need, world. I still think we need to stream Diablo 2. Yeah. I mean, we bought it and haven't touched it yet. Yeah. We re-bought it. I think I should stream Diablo 1, because who the fuck has this game still? Starcraft 2, Shoutcaster Day 9, he averages six to 7,000 viewers per day. Oh, uh, yeah. He streams Monday to Friday at 10 o'clock. So, I guess maybe 9 to 10 is in a good slot. Yeah, maybe not. I don't think there are... There's probably stuff going on almost every slot. Yeah. Mm. And if there's not stuff going on in that slot, it's a time where most people are asleep or something. Yeah. So, uh, 
It's a win lose anyway, beef. no matter where. You're doing. I mean, I guess it's trial and error. Try really hard to just be funnier. Yeah, we just, could. Well, no, that's not gonna, gonna keep doing what you're doing. And, yeah, and like attract people who want to, who will want to come back and watch again. Well, that's really all. Look, we it. we got one guy who came back. There was a few last week, and the more we do that, it'll just build itself up. Whether it's we decide what, to change. What you have to do, you have to. Yeah, persistence. Yeah. It's gonna take time. That's yeah. all I can say. Time will tell. Look, this 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 stream has been active for since April 16th, and we have like almost 2,000 views. What is it? 1,500 views. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's pretty good. I can't complain with that because I see people on there for. We don't even do a lot yet. Take. Yeah. Awesome. Pancake subscribed. Yay. What we're trying to do basically is get people together because, like, I watch all these streams too, but no one talks to their fucking audience. It's always like they're talking to themselves yeah. or they're playing a game. We're trying to include people in our conversations and make it like a like a group thing, not so much one sided, where they're just watching people. Yeah, make I mean, when I level up on like my stream playing like WoW or something, I like pay so little attention that I usually just turn the camera off and put on some music. Well, that's and no one watches. <laughs> Maybe that's why, because they're like, "Wow, he's not." Yeah, because it's just like. <laughs> well, then you know your problem, <laughs> so fix it. <laughs> just, just, just an idea. Well, I, I went ahead. I don't know if uh, Pancake Breakfast actually like streams anything, or if he just kind of has an account to like go and chat or anything. But I'm following his channel now. Yeah, I follow too. Yeah, I usually follow anyone who follows me. It's kind of like a rule. Because I feel like that's the best way, because, you know, people, they don't do that kind of stuff. Yeah, like, like, I like the idea of actually having, like, a fucking community, you know? Yeah, well, if you ever want to stream like... stuff, you have some viewers that will watch it. That's guaranteed. That's <laughs> just... Yeah, I, I usually float around from time to time. We're usually bored playing games with each other, or playing board games. Let's have feedback again. Yeah. Right. You're welcome. But, um, yeah, I think the stream's over. <laughs> All the news is talked about. Yes. This has been a pretty crappy what week. News? Well, I mean... There's, there's been nothing interesting well, going on. All right, week, let's really, recap. Considering things like Avengers Let's and recap. Starhawk is getting good ratings. I'm probably going to pick it up soon because I like new games. There's, put it this way. Imagine an RTS game, right? But, like... Third person shooter. Like, do you, anyone remember the Command and Conquer game they were going to make that they scrapped? It was a first person shooter, but they were like, no, yeah. and it looked awesome. Well, this is like that, where basically. They made a game like that. Well, well it's not I, awesome. I need to start playing C&C &C 4 again. Well, okay, I, I this like, game. They made Command and Conquer Renegade, and it was not very awesome. Well, this game, it's like. It's all third person. You can basically call in, like, a. Uh, like a uh, vehicle deployment station, and it'll just drop from the sky and build right in front of you, and you get vehicles to use, and aircraft, and you can do things like that. There, you can't build soldiers. Don't think this is like, oh, I'm gonna like make a fucking army. You just have 16 on 16 or whatever, and you can all build different things and help each other out. So it seems interesting. It's it's different. Yeah. I'm sick of the same fucking shit. That's how I feel. Well, I'm gonna get started on Terra because like. I'm not interested enough in, like, the quests or anything, but I actually like the gameplay a lot. So I'm going to try and get into it. Yeah, Sniper Elite's been giving, been getting pretty good reviews, too. Um, not not great, you know, it's, go, it's varying from 6 to, like, 8, but I guess it's all opinion-based. I have the first one, that's why I didn't get the second one. The first one, the controls were so sluggish, I just couldn't get into it. But, um, yeah. Well, thanks for uh, joining our stream. Uh, uh, we yeah, our, our, uh, we we kind of just play games and stuff most days. If we, if we're like playing League of Legends or something, our actual podcast kind of thing, like we're doing right now, has been every Monday. Uh, we're debating if we want to change the day because it's kind of been slowing down. But here's but some here's some future so far, plans. It's been every Monday. Here's some future plans I came up with if you guys want to do it too. I know, Peter, you want to do the retro games, which is awesome because people like that stuff. 
We do too, so maybe we can get that yeah. emulator going eventually. But here's one thing. I want to do a bargain day where where we like play a game that's cheap at the store that's good and like just kind of like give like, like a, a free to play game. <laughs> Yeah, something. There are a lot of free yeah, to play something that. like something we can give like a like a walk through slash review of while we're playing it. Not saying you have to beat the game, but just mm-hmm. play it and be like, this game's pretty awesome. It cost me like six bucks at GameStop, just to give the viewers like, oh, these guys like, give, like you know, we're not just people playing games and talking about shit. We actually like yeah. want to contribute more. I mean, that's what I want to do. Like, I want to have something almost every There's day. So many... So many different things you could do. Yeah, but I feel like the bargain thing, because like Phil said, the free-to-play thing, since free-to-play is everything now. There's there's a ton of free-to-play games. We could even start like could doing just, like DC could, Universe again. That's free-to-play now. Yeah. You could do like a whole list of free games. And while like, a whole boring, three games, to, and to 30, go through them like, yeah. like once a week or something. Yeah. Do one every week. Like I think, you know, like a team of five of us or something, we could actually probably have some fun on DC Universe. Mm. There's a lot of games we could have fun on, I'm sure. I mean, yeah. if you have, have shit, if you have can maybe friends, actually do the those, bad, uh, we're gonna have fun anyway. Those dungeons. You remember those like dungeon things in in that that we just got horribly raped. On? Yeah, but that required experience. And see, once you throw in, okay, like League of Legends, it's fun. But when we go online, we get our asses kicked, and we know that, and we all get discouraged by that. I rage like hell, Sometimes. and. You know, I like games... Yeah, I raged when I tried Dr. Mundo. Yeah, well, that's because people were... I actually... I threw my mouse, dude. People were, like, angry at you. <laughs> They're calling you, like... Yeah, everyone hates... No, we're not in the ranked team. We're not We've... level 30 yet. We're not even level like, 30 yet, no. I'm not even level 12 yet, actually. I mean, I, I love I'm the game, 12. but... I'm almost level 13. Like, I haven't really decided on a character I definitely like. I was doing Rise for a while, but I'm starting to feel like I like Zillion a little better. This is how much so Wallman P now. likes the game. We're still all learning, so... He likes the game so much that after we started playing it regularly, it. he bought Terra. <laughs> That's how much he likes this game. Now, I bought Terra because the only, like, real-life friend who played WoW and got me to start looking at WoW again canceled WoW after I bought it again to play Terra. But, oh, uh, so you're trying to play the game. Oh, that's even worse. I, like, I, yeah, I bought <laughs> WoW because, like, he was playing WoW and the, um, we're talking about it again at work and all the things that are different. So I bought it. And then, like, two weeks later, he's never on anymore. He's like, oh, yeah, I canceled that and bought Terra. <laughs> like, from what I've seen so far with Terra, like, like the quests and everything are kind of shitty, but... Like, I actually like the gameplay, how it's, like... The combat you know, system and stuff like that. You know that game yeah, was like out I in Korea? Like the way the controls play out on it. Apparently that game was out in Korea for, like, a year and a half? Yeah. That's fucked up. Well, they did it with Final Fantasy company, XI, too. Yeah, but I'm... Remember s- Final Fantasy XI? Yeah, but I'm saying, like, okay, so... You got a game that came out a year and a half before it came to the States... These people, they're already good at video games, okay? These people. <laughs> these people. These, what do you mean these what people? What do you mean these people? Koreans, <laughs> anything. Any Japanese, Korean, any Asian. They're fucking good at games, RPGs, okay? And everyone knows that. So they already have a year and a half head yeah. start on your ass. They could fucking destroy you with a level 1 and you could be like level 13. I just, I don't know. Happened with Final Fantasy XI too. Yeah. Well, Final Fantasy... Like, how, did, how fun did it feel to, like, get that game on opening day for me, Final Fantasy XI, and just see people running by on chocobos and shit when I was level <laughs> one? Like, with, like, this, like, decked-out armor and fucking, like, dragon shit, whatever. <laughs> one like, guy wrote a dragon. Where I think you only had, like... Like, that with Final Fantasy XI also, you only had a few classes you could start as. And there were, like, different classes you were able to unlock. Like, you know, the... Uh, like paladin and stuff like that and like summoners and uh dragoons and stuff those were all unlockable classes so you had like the basic classes and you're seeing like all this awesome shit that you can't play well <laughs> walk in the mmo that's why after like two months i stopped playing that game 
I, I liked the game, but I felt like shit every time I played it. You know what game's awesome? I, like, died a lot, too. Dark Souls. Demon Souls, Dark Souls. Yeah. Oh, okay. no. no, here's the best part. You, you, should, you should stream that, dude. You no, yeah. I, I, I would love to see you <laughs> just raid. I feel like, I feel like I'm going to stream it, but I'm going to start over because I'm too far into it to like really explain yeah. to everyone where I'm at. But what I like... I'd never have the time to stream because if you start streaming that, I'm going to be watching your stream okay. all the time. Here, here, <laughs> okay, Imag this is the formula they use in Dark Souls. And Demon... Well, Dark Souls, they, they made it nerfed a little bit, but here's Demon Souls. You could be on any quest, and you could be right at the very end, ready to kill the final boss. A phantom can come into your game, kill you, I mean slaughter you, and you have to go all the way back to the beginning. You lose all your fucking souls, and you have to get all the way back to the end, back to the boss, and they can keep doing that. Yeah. That I is... Remember. That is. I, I remember you, like, always being pissed off on... Yeah. Because you'd be, like, right at the end of, like, a three-hour, like, quest, and this douchebag's like, I'm just gonna fuck you up. And then he, he fucks me up, and then I would unhook my internet from the, the wall so that it didn't kill me, and the game didn't register, and that's cheating, but... How about when I... <laughs> when I played uh, the final countdown while you were playing, and you got distracted and ran into a lake and lost all of your shit. Yeah, I lost twenty. Uh, I, I lost twenty thousand souls. That's a lot of souls. And then you got that curse that took half of your health away permanently. Yep. And the only the only cure for it, once you actually spent an entire day to find how to get to the cure, it was the exact same price as all the shit you lost. Cause of yeah, it. I know. Or remember when you deleted your save? I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, happened. I would have. That's I the only died. reason I didn't finish the game right now, because I know I have to go back to the Berg, and that was the hardest part. Of all games to delete your save. Look, I like a challenge. Okay, maybe I maybe I subconsciously did that. I like I I like to just fucking hurt myself, mentally and physically. No, the Berg is an ass. He didn't purposely delete yeah. it. The he, he, like, was trying... He got, like, distracted while he was, like, going onto his character or something, and he hit the wrong button, and he didn't realize he even hit the delete button, I guess. Okay. So when he went to select his character, he confirmed the deletion. When, when circle is delete and X is enter, and you turn around and your elbow hits the circle <laughs> button, you can't stop it. There's no oops. Let me. I asked ask Cindy. I literally yanked out my PlayStation from the the uh, entertainment stand. And he jumped. He leaped yeah. towards it. Yeah. Hoping. <laughs> I was hoping that it didn't delete, and then it was gone, all of it. And now I'm back at the Berg, where I died so many times, and I'm just afraid to to die again, because that's where I I lost all my stuff. It was actually, you know, the funny thing is, it wasn't that bad because the second time I went through it, I got to where I was before. Oh God. Halfway so through. Again. So, I mean... Yeah, the, the, I, Ewok? There's an Ewok floating on the screen. Yeah, so once I went through the second time, it was like clockwork, and I actually beat a lot of the bosses quick. But the first time, oh my god, the first time. <laughs> I died. So, the, the fucking gargoyles, I almost... The Ewok. The, the Ewok knows all. And he's like... <laughs> I think uh, the 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 Ewok's on mute. I can't hear him. There we go. The uh, Ewok is making like he's growling. He's he angry, dude. Face. I pity the fool to tell me them lies. I pity the fool. All right. Well, the stream's gonna be over. It's it's been our our custom time is usually about an hour, hour and a half. It sucks that we're streaming with all this stuff going on, but we, we can't just stop. It's